Hi, so today we shall be developing, today we shall be developing, developing a regression model and, and from that regression model we shall develop residual and we shall check we shall check we shall check whether whether the residual is normally distributed or not right so that is our plan and here uh, a perfect regression a perfect sorry a perfect re regression model should have a residual should have a residual which is normally distributed. So, meaning that today we shall be developing a model and from that model we shall develop residual and we, sh we shall check whether the residual is normally distributed or not. A perfect model should have a residual which is normally distributed. So that is desirable that residual should be normally distributed. Okay, what is called actually re residual? Residual means actually actual dependent dependent variable minus estimated estimated or predicted dependent variable that is called residual this gap between actual dependent variable suppose I take it as a y right that is the actual dependent variable minus estimated dependent variable suppose that is estimated y right and uh, and what is residual the gap between actual dependent variable and estimated dependent variable and this residual should be normally distributed and 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 when the residual is normally distributed we can accept that estimated model okay so now we have some data to estimate our model the data is here you can see from here the data y x1 x3 and x2 and here y is the dependent variable x1 x3 and x2 are independent variables so the data is here you can see the data the sample size is how much 30 the sample size is 30 in total the sample size is 30 from 1 to 30 okay okay now uh, now the the first thing I shall develop the model I shall estimate the Re regression model first okay I go to analyze then I choose this one this one means re uh, linear model I choose linear re regression model that I choose from here right linear re regression model I choose it and I put Y here 
and x1 x3 x2 all are here right so actually it is already here already here so these three vari variables are already here and y is the dependent variable okay then I check statistics right statistics okay the, from here I I select estimate and model fit so uh, this is a uh, this is already here by default it is already here so I press continue okay then I go to save right I go to save and here from here I choose these two you see here residual right there are there there are many residual are here one two three four five out of all these five I choose only two one is standard residual one is studentized residual I choose this one to save to save this residual after estimating our model right so they will save it automatically right so so here uh, okay so I press continue I press continue right I press continue then I press ok so now uh, it has been estimated you can see from here the model has been estimated and uh, and you can see from here the model estimated this is value of r square right this is model summary value of r square and this is the table of ANOVA right and this is the table of Quafen, right all are here okay now my question is that whether the residual of this particular model is normally distributed or not that we want to check today whether the residual of this model is normally distributed or not okay here you can see the value of r square is actually quite low right it is only how much okay what I do I, I make it big so that you can see better I make it big so I make it big I make it big right okay cell properties I take it uh, I make it 16 right so that I can see better okay here you can see the R square is quite low it is only 47 percent we are not happy about the model because the model is not nicely fitted because R squared is very small okay then we talk about uh, this one F statistics right we check this one ANOVA okay ANOVA we check this one. okay what I do I make it big right as before make it big I'm oh, sorry I make it big cell properties I do uh, 16 so here you can see uh, here the F statistics is 7.688 and the significant value is 0 0.001 meaning that it is less than 5% meaning that F statistics is significant it means that all the independent variable such as x2 x3 and x1 jointly can influence our dependent variable which is y right so so okay the whole thing uh, I am telling again F statistics is significant 
meaning that our three independent variable such as x1, x2 and x3 are significant jointly to influence our dependent variable which is y. So we are happy about it because f statistics is significant and that is always desirable for a model. Okay, This part is done. Then we talk about here the coefficient. I make it big as before. So that, uh, so that I make it big, cell properties. I make it 16, right? So I do it. Okay, now it is fine. It looks good. Okay, here are the three, three variable, right? And out of these three variable, you, you see from here, from here, x1 is significant to explain the dependent variable, that is y, because the value is less than 5% here. So, so actually, the value here is 0.02% which is less than uh, the, the value here is less than 5% so very small so meaning that x1 is significant to explain y but what about this one x3 the value is 86.8% which is more than 5%. So x3 is not a significant variable. Then what about x2? x2 is significant variable because the, the, because the value is less than 5%. So, so x2 is a significant variable to explain our dependent variable which is y. Okay, so here what is happening out of three variables, right, such as x1, x3 and x2, two variables are significant. Only one is not significant. So we are happy about the model because because there is a guideline and and the question is that what is that the guideline is most of the variable should be significant to have a good estimated model so so i'm i'm telling again uh, uh, the the guideline is most of the independent variable should be significant to be a good estimated model. And here, out of three, two variables are significant. So we are happy about the model. Okay, so here what is happening? The F statistics is significant we are happy about it and that is desirable and and at the same time and uh, out of three but two are significant meaning that most of the variables are significant so we are happy about it but here is only one problem the r square is very low only 47 percent but but uh, but but as the F statistics is significant, so we should not worry about R square. We should not worry about R square because F statistics is significant. Actually, R square and F statistics both talk about joint significancy. So here, F statistics is significant, meaning that all the three variables 
jointly can influence y in the population okay here r square talk about sample right and f statistics talk about population so here the population is more important and here f statistics is significant meaning that all the three variables jointly can influence y in the population uh, i'm saying again in the population all the three variables jointly can influence y so although the r square is low so that will not affect the result that will not affect the result because r square talk about sample uh, result not the population result okay here here the r square is 47 percent and what does it mean it means that may means that 47 percent variation in y can be explained by x2 x3 and x1 jointly okay so that is the explanation of it meaning that 47 percent fluctuation of y jointly can influence by these three variable in the sample in the sample not in the population right in the sample right but here what is this f statistics so here it is significant meaning that all the three variables jointly can influence y in the population so that is more important so here f statistics is significant we are happy and two variable are significant we are happy about the model okay the last one actually our target what is our target to check whether residual of this model is normally distributed or not that we want to check actually uh, actually we want to check whether the residual from this model right is normally distributed or not that uh, we shall be checking now Okay, so so last time, okay, well, okay. The thing is that we have estimated this model, and from this model, we can derive the residual, right? And and we shall be checking today whether the residual is normally distributed or not. Okay, and last time, last time actually we saved, we saved two residual right two types of residuals because there are many types two types of residual last time we saved while we are running uh, the model so we have two types of residual that we have saved last time and they are number one number one uh, the first one we saved was was studentized right and the second one we saved standardized right standardized standard standardized right so this type these two residual we have already saved last time okay now uh, we shall check whether these two residuals are 
normally distributed or not okay here here uh, first uh, first uh, first uh, we check the this one studentized residual then we shall check standard standardized i'm a mistake standardized residual so so the, so 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 the so the second one we'll do later okay first i do the first one okay uh, the first one okay so uh, and i go to analyze as before then i come here i do here no sorry analyze then i go to descriptive statistic i come here then i go to explore right so here analyze descriptive statistics and explore right i click on it okay so here you can see we have two residual one is standard residual one is student residual that we already saved last time so now i check one by one whether the residual is normally distributed or not okay first i check with this one student residual i take it here right i take it here okay okay then i check statistics i click on it then okay it uh, this thing is already here then continue then i choose plot okay here i choose the, this one normality plots with test right i take this one right and i also take this one histogram of the residual right i take it continue then i choose option okay so it is exclude cases list wise i press continue okay now i press okay so the result is coming up gradually it takes time because because my computer is very slow because it is a very old computer okay so, so first on we talk about uh, studentized residual right okay so we talk about okay first i talk about uh, the, this one test of normality right so actually there are two approach one is mathematical approach and one is graphical approach okay so he, here i'm doing i'm making it uh, making it uh, big so that you can see better make it big i'm making it 16 right okay this is the i make it big and here normally two approach i'm telling both the approach what is the first approach I'm telling okay so there are two approach one approach is uh, graphical approach sorry number one graphical approach and number two approach is mathematical approach mathematical approach okay okay here the graphical approach actually not that reliable to come to any decision but the second one the mathematical approach is more convincing that means after doing this approach we can be sure whether the data is normally distributed or not meaning that our residual is normally distributed or not okay first i do this approach mathematical approach okay okay and it is the mathematical approach it is here that means that uh, that means it can make you confirm this approach can make you confirm whether our residual is normally distributed or not 
okay so he uh, so 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 here is the student ties residual right and it is there are two, there are two statistics one is kolmo gorov statistics and shapiro statistics we have these two and it is the statistics right and corresponding a uh, significant level or p value and here is also statistics and corresponding uh, significant value or i can call it p value right and it is the same thing probability value so what is p probability value and here what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is i am taking here the null is the null is residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable right that that we want to have a good regression model right and what is alternative alternative hypothesis residuals are not normally distributed okay okay so one is null and one is alternative residuals are not normally distributed and here you can see the statistics and corresponding significant value the value is how much the value is actually 20% the value is 20% meaning that more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that the student residual is normally distributed and that is desirable okay and what about the shapiro the significant level is how much 55.7% it is called 55.7% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable for any regression model and normally we can we can reject the null hypothesis when the p value or sig value significant value is less than 5% only then we can reject the null hypothesis and take the alternative hypothesis but here the significant value is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis so this one is the mathematical approach right and we are confirm we are already confirm that that uh, the residual are normally distributed okay we can also check graphical approach right graphical approach but from here we cannot be sure whether the the residual is normally distributed or not we cannot be sure but still but still we can check okay i go down you can see student dies residual it is here right okay first i check the uh, his histogram right so here you can see and it is the student residual right you can see from here so here it is almost normally distributed something like this right something like this right so meaning that residual are normally distributed right it is something like this okay 
so 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 the second graphical approach i can check from here it is here second graphical approach just one minute it is the second graphical approach just one minute i'm setting it okay make it big it's so big this one okay i cannot accommodate something like that right because so big okay i'm trying to accommodate as much as i can okay i'm trying to accommodate as much as i can okay here the second one you can see so the guideline is no i'm sorry is it leaving me okay don't leave me stay with me okay okay so here uh, uh trying to make it big okay here the second one when the so, so the so this one is a line right this one is a line straight line and when this observation right fall on this line fall on this line then we can say a particular variable or the residual that we are checking here is normally distributed so meaning that when all the dot you know point all the point right when all the point fall on this line then we can say that residual or any variable is normally distributed and here our residual actually a variable here our residual is actually a variable okay so the, so the, this one is the second graphical presentation and what about the third graphical presentations so that is another one but it is so big right difficult to accommodate okay i'm trying to make it accommodate okay, as much as i can okay the third one what happens third one so what is happening here so here it is the box right it is the box detrended normal qq studentized residual so when all the point right all the boxes sorry all the uh, all the circle are close to this line then probably the residuals are normally distributed and here you can see all the circle are close to it you can see here most of the circle most of the circles are close to it so we can say that our residual is normally distributed okay so th this is the third third presentation of the of the residuals okay the number four i'm oh, sorry number four is what uh, number four just one minute it has gone to somewhere just one minute number four is the uh, is the box plot that is the fourth graphical presentation it is here right okay and here what is happening so this one is the box plot of the residual and it is the median right so normally when this median goes up meaning that data is uh data is negatively skewed meaning that if this line and that is median if this line goes up meaning that close to top close to top meaning that residual is norm uh, residuals are negatively skewed but if this median line goes down meaning that close to bottom meaning that the residual or the variable 
is positively skewed but if this median is just in the bottom in the bottom of this line if the residual uh, sorry if this median line is just in the bottom meaning that distribution is normal okay but here uh, this line actually almost in the center almost in the center so we can say that our residual variable is normally distributed so now we are happy about the model because uh, because uh, we have checked both we have checked both approach so the first approach was uh, was what it was uh, mathematical approach and we have seen that residuals are normally distributed from from the test of normality right from the uh, there are two tests Kolmogorov and Shapiro so from this test we have seen that residuals are normally distributed and also we have checked four graphical approach and from those graphical approach we have also seen that residuals are normally distributed okay so we are happy about our model that we have estimated okay okay now 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 because i, I told you we have to, we have taken two residual one is st studentized and one is standardized so now i shall check the standardized residual right whether this residual is normally distributed or not okay that i shall be checking now uh, right okay that uh, that i shall be checking now Okay, so the, this time, uh, this time uh, we shall be checking whether standardized residual, right, is it normally distributed or not. And we have already seen that studentized residual is normally distributed from the graphical approach and from the mathematical approach we have already seen that studentized residual is normally distributed okay now i shall be checking standardized residual that whether this residual is normally distributed or not and we have already saved it last time from the estimated model we have already saved it now we shall check whether it is normally distributed or not okay go to analyze as before then i go to descriptive statistics then i go to explore right then i click on it so so last time actually we we already checked i take it out then I take standard residual this time, right? I take it and put it here. Then I check statistics. Statistics. Okay, so, so this one uh, I choose, right? Continue. Then plot. I choose uh, this one, <laughs> histogram. And I choose 
normality plots with test right that uh, I choose this and this I select continue then option okay I choose number one continue then I press OK so the result is coming up gradually just one minute result is coming up okay it's coming up processing the data yes okay the result has come up okay the result has come from here right from here result has come okay and test of normality has come and standardized residual has come right okay so first I check one by one so this one is the test of normality I make it big so that you can see better I make it uh, I make it uh, how much I make 16 cell properties I make it 16 right you can see better so this is the outcome and what I do here uh, here uh, here uh, I write something so that uh, you can understand better I put it this one okay right write something okay here I write one minute where I have gone just one minute uh, where, where is my result just one minute not this one I cannot this one my result is uh, up at the bell I guess my result I have lost it okay yes the result is still coming up the result is here yes this one is the result this one is the result uh, that we are looking for and standard residual is here so here I write something so that uh, I just want to write something what is going up mm, I write something is going up to where oh sorry I think I have, I have chosen the wrong uh, yeah I take uh, sorry I have, I, my result is this one I've done a mistake my result is this one I think I have to click this one to write something yes it has come up okay so it is the result of the standard residual right and here uh, 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 here is the, there are two approach as I told one is mathematical approach and the second approach is graphical approach right to come to a decision whether a variable is normally distributed or not okay so first I check mathematical approach and uh, and we always accept the mathematical approach result all the time not graphical approach result because the the, the second one graphical approach cannot make it confirm but mathematical approach can make it confirm okay so it is the result so there are two tests one is uh, Kolmogorov and the Shapiro and this one is the standard residual right and it is the statistics and corresponding as significant value or I can call it p-value right meaning that probability value it is here and what is our null hypothesis null is residuals residual variable that we have residuals are normally distributed so that is our null and what is alternative hypothesis residuals are not normally distributed right so there are two hypotheses okay here the thing is that uh, here the significant value or the p-value is 20% meaning that we cannot reject 
null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis, meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is always desirable for a estimated regression model. Okay, then second approach, Shapiro, Shapiro model. The significant level is 66%, which is more than 5%. So we cannot reject null hypothesis, rather we accept null hypothesis, meaning that residuals are normally distributed. So now we are sure, we are sure that our residuals are normally distributed. So because we have done the mathematical approach, right? We are confirm. We are confirm about it. But still, we can check the graphical approach, right? Whether our residual variable is normally distributed or not. Here, our re residual actually a variable, right? Residual actually a a variable. Okay. So 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 first, I check graphical approach. So the first one is this one, graphical approach. So it is the histogram, right? That is graphical approach, first graphical approach. And you can see here standard residual. Standard residual has been plotted here, has been distributed here, plotted here. And you can see this distribution actually looks like a normal distributions right something like normal so we can say that our residual is normally distributed okay then we talk about a second graphical approach right so i make it small it has become so big so i make it small so that you can see it properly I make it small okay it has come down okay he, it, the second graphical approach is the normal QQ plot of standard residual right so this one is the line straight line and when this circle there are many circle when this circle fall on this line then we can say our residual is normally distributed and here you can see the circles are very close to this line meaning that we can say that our residuals are normally distributed Okay, then we check the third graphical approach. Uh, it is so big, I make it small so that, uh, so that, okay, make it small. Okay, it has become small now. Okay, so this one is the line, straight line, right? Straight line. And it is standard residual. So the guideline is when this circle, you can see circle, when this circle are close to this line then we can say that residuals are normally distributed and here we can see most of the circle right most of the circle are close to this line meaning that our residuals are normally distributed Okay, the f number the number four graphical approach, I make it small, that is called box plot. It is here. I make it small. Okay, it has become small now. It is standard residual and we call it box plot. Okay, okay and this line we call it median. We call it median. And when this median goes to close to top 
when this median close to top meaning that the variable is negatively skewed but when this median is close to bottom then we say the variable is positively skewed but when this median is in the center of this line then we say that variable is normally distributed so that is the guideline and here we can see that this median is almost in the center in the center of the box meaning that our residual variable is normally distributed so we are happy about our model so what is our decision our decision is uh, that from the mathematical approach residuals are normally distributed and from the graphical approach residuals are also normally distributed so we are happy about the model so what is our decision the, the decision is we have checked two types of decision one is standard standard residual and we have checked studentized residual both are telling that residuals are normally distributed so we are we are happy about the model 